I'm Matthias from Gladenfold and you're watching the first part of our trailer documentary series about the recording of our upcoming album When God's Descent. The recording process of this album was quite long indeed. December 2015 we went to Hunger Amps Studio here in Turku to record drum, drum tracks. Lauren had to tracks in a couple of days. It was really like a straightforward thing to do. Next thing to do was to record the guitars and bass for the album. It took us for a few months to do that. We tracked all the guitars and bass here at my home studio, not in this particular room, but in the in my former apartment. And so every now and then, our former bassist Timo visited me and we tracked the songs one by one. And it took some couple of times to do that. And also Esco, who, who played his parts for the album, came to my place for one week and then we basically nailed all the important tracks or the crucial tracks at that point. And then, in the meanwhile, when I had time, I had all the time in the world to finish my parts as well, sitting here. So when we got the bass and guitar tracks ready, we went to Noise for Fiction studio in Lieto, where we re all the guitars and bass with Jon Alokan. And it was really quick and nice session to do we got nice nice sounds nice tones with different kind of amp combinations and I really like doing that kind of stuff. Acoustic guitar recordings were much more tricky than the electric ones because acoustic guitar gives no mercy. Every, every tiny little mistakes and it's boom. <sighs> and about the vocals, vocal recordings, it was very cool to record at Voice from Fiction studio with Jona Lukala because he knew exactly what needs to be done to get the best outcome. Okay, so about the the synth and the keyboard recordings of the, the album. Um, long journey would be a word to, to describe it and uh, pretty much working at, at home uh, doing all the all the arrangements basically on, on MIDI first and then uh, then getting all the all the sounds sounds took some some time and um, trying to put and arrange everything isn't that easy job and, and maybe a few times we all also had to use the delete button but but finally we, we got everything arranged and uh, I think the result is pretty pretty awesome we managed to have a real choir in the city. There are quite huge choir parts in many, many songs. So we were fortunate to have some of my old choir buddies to join the studio and also our former band members. Life for a night, life for a life. Yeah.